What is up guys? Welcome to So Hills Kids. I am super glad you guys are here and it's already halfway through October. What is going on? Families, if you're anywhere near Carrollton, I would love to invite you guys to come hang out with us at City Station on October 31st at Halloween from 5 to 7 p.m. Uh, we're gonna have indoor trick-or-treating. It's gonna be warm, it's gonna be safe, and it's going to be a blast. Come hang out with us at City Station. We'd love to see you there. Um, and with that, we're gonna jump into today's lesson. Now, we've been talking about sin, right? It's not been the most fun topic. We don't like to talk about the wrongs that we do, but the reality is we have to understand our sin before we really um, are able to, you know, understand God's grace and what he gives us. So I want you guys to think about Simon Says or, or maybe musical chairs. Maybe go play a game of Simon Says with your family, but think about what? There's one person and in Simon Says, there's one person that's in charge. Or in musical chairs, there's one person that can get that chair, right? They're not everyone can sit on the same chair, right? It's like a throne. And the reality is that the inside of us, there is a, co a competition for the throne, right? Is it going to be sin or is it going to be Jesus, right? Who's going to win that throne? And today we're going to talk about what happens when we put ourselves on the throne. Um, so we are going to look at the story of the Tower of Babel. I love this story. It's so interesting and so unique. Um, so we're going to check out the Tower of Babel. We're going to play our video for you, and we're going to recap that lesson. So I'll see you guys after this video. After the Great Flood, God told Noah and his sons to grow their families and fill the earth. As their families grew, the people started to travel through the land. At this time, everyone in the world spoke the same language. One day, the people traveled through a valley. They liked it there and they decided to stay. We don't want to be scattered all over the earth, they said. Let's build a city and a tower so big that it touches the sky. The tower will make us famous. The people made bricks out of clay and baked them in the fire to make stones. Then they used the stones to start building the tower. They wanted glory for themselves instead of God. But God is greater than anyone. God created people to give glory to him alone. God came down to look at the tower. God said, if they are doing this, they will keep thinking up more wrong things to do. So God mixed up the people's words. Instead of everyone speaking the same language, everyone spoke different languages. When people tried to make plans, they could not understand what the other people were saying. If one workman said, hand me another brick, nobody else knew what he wanted. The people had to stop building the city. Families had to move away from each other to live with people that they could understand. God made it so the people did just what he told them to do after the flood. They were scattered all over the world. The city with the unfinished tower was called Babel. People wanted glory for themselves instead of God. They ignored God's plan, so God confused their language and scattered them all over the earth. One day, Jesus will gather together all of God's people from every tribe and language, and they will worship him together. I hope you guys have your Bibles. We're going to dive into those just a little bit today. You can go ahead and flip on over to Genesis chapter 11. Um, so this is after Noah and the ark, right? We're going linear through the Bible. And so this is after uh, Noah. Um, so uh, they've landed, they've had kids, they've multiplied. And in fact, now there's cities, cities of people and a lot of them. They have followed God's command. But here's the issue. Sin is still in the world. They still want what they want. And so today's story really showed what that looks like and the consequences of putting sin or ourselves on the throne over God. So the, the, the city of Babel, right? The Tower of Babel. Uh, it's something you might have heard before, um, but it was a massive city and a massive tower that they were building to themselves, right? They wanted to build to heaven is what they wanted to do. They wanted to be the biggest and best city. They wanted everyone to know them, right? Because they had put themselves on the throne. 
No, God didn't want that. Because if they built a big city to themselves, then, well, they wouldn't have God. And, and the reality is we all need God. And God loves us and he wants us. And so if we look at it, right, if we look at Genesis chapter 11, verse 5, it says, The Lord came down to look at the city and the tower and the people they were building. And, and he was like, oh, this doesn't look good. They're worshiping what they can do. They're not worshiping what I've done, right? Who made the material for the bricks they're using, right? God did. And so in verse um, 8, it says, In that way, the Lord scattered them all over the world, and they stopped building the city. And that's why the city's called Babel, because that's where the Lord confused the people with other languages. In this way, he scattered them all over the world. So little did you know that all of these languages kind of are a result of this Babel. And of course, they've evolved and adapted over time, but all of these languages were created when God decided that, that he'd had enough of, of humans worshiping themselves, right? Remember, God promised he's not going to destroy the world again um, with a flood like he did. And so he is um, he's separating people so that they stop worshiping themselves, right? And so talking about this, guys, it created a division, right? Because sin creates division, Think about some of the struggles our world has today. We're divided, right? We go to war because people are different than us. We say things and act towards people because they're different than us. Um, sin creates difference. Sin creates um, strife or arguing with people. Sin creates chaos. And we see that played out right here in the Tower of Babel. The reality is sin separates Sin divides. It does not bring together. And so we have to ask, what's the solution? If we're sinners, if we can't help but sin because that's our nature, then what are we going to do? We're just going to be divided. We're just going to be stuck. But the reality is God gave us a way out. And I think you might know the answer at this point. Jesus. God gave us Jesus, a way out of this sin and this death and this separation. You see, when Jesus died on the cross for our sins, he paid for our sins. We didn't have to pay for them anymore. We're forgiven. And in that, he unites us as one family. You see, later on, Jesus calls us um, a body, right? And a body is all together, right? The toes and the fingers can't have different ideas of what they want to do. They all function together. And in Christ, we are all united. It doesn't matter if you're from the middle of Georgia if you're from New York or Chicago, if you're from Africa or Europe or China or Russia, wherever you're from, whatever you believe, and whoever um, you think, like whatever it is, it doesn't matter. You're united in Christ. And guys, as you grow up, you're going to see a lot of division in the world. A lot of people wanting to tell you to believe something or to do something because this, this, and this, and the reality is. That at the end of the day, in Christ, there is unity and there is love. So despite our division, despite our sin and our failure, God still loves us and Jesus unifies us. So take heart in that, guys. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys next week as we creep closer and closer towards November and all of those holiday seasons. I can't wait for all of that. And I hope you guys have a great week. I'll see you next week. Bye.